Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at Razor Claw, the new held item here in Pokemon Unite. One of multiple, actually. And uh, talk about who it's going to be good on, and we're going to upgrade it a bunch and do some testing. So first, we're actually going to upgrade it a bunch and do some testing. I'll show you guys that process. You can skip to what you want to see down below if you want to just see the gameplay, if you want to see what Pokemon it's good for. You can skip down below in the description or through the chapters in order to see that. But um, I just did a whole bunch of big item upgrading and stuff like that. Uh, using the Mega Item Enhancers, you still have a level 30 Muscle Band, which is super awesome, and I'm happy to see. Everybody can get this stuff. It's really easy to get uh, level 30s now, and um, it, we should have more access to Item Enhancers as well. You'll see I have 1,000 of them right now. So, um, Razor Claw. Let's talk about it real quick. The description of Razor Claw. After the Pokemon uses a move, its next, base, next basic attack deals a minimum of 10 more damage. The higher the Pokemon's attack, the more this damage increases. When this item is held by a melee Pokemon, the basic attack also increases the movement speed of opposing Pokemon for a short time. Decreases the movement speed. So basically, if you're melee, it'll give them a little slow on your auto attacks. It gives a flat attack boost, a critical hit rate boost. So you can kind of already see what this is probably going to be good for. Um, uh, especially for melee. They're really kind of gearing this up for assassins. This is what it's looking like to me, at least. I'm thinking one of the first Pokemon that came to mind here was Absol. Another one that really definitely comes to mind is Garchomp. I think that this is absolutely an indirect Garchomp buff because he's doing so much move usage. Now, there is undeniably, undoubtedly a cooldown, and a lot of this data is not out yet. This may change because um, Pokemon Unite tends to not have a lot of its data on the front end, but it's definitely very, very interesting to see um, what, what this stuff looks like. So, yes, uh, that is Razor Claw weakness policy, and choice specs are the new ones. We're going to go over the other ones, but we're going to start with Razor Claw here. We're going to upgrade it up a bit. Let's get it to, I'm going to get up to level 10 first to start with, just so we can have a decent amount of difference that we can kind of, like actually kind of see, and um, then we'll go from there. I think 10 is a good baseline anyway, so. All right, we will uh, get ourselves some extra damage, 15 extra damage every time we use a new move. Um, my understanding of this is that this will, this actually scales with attack damage as well, just so you know. Uh, kind of like how Shell Bella scales with special attack damage, this scales with, with attack damage. Flat attack, crit hit rate, you know what this is for. This is for big critters, and a big critter uh, <laughs> is Absol. So let's get in there and uh, do some testing now with Absol, with and without. Alrighty, we're prepping to bring in our Absol here. I'm just going to grab it. doesn't really matter. Well, we could see. We'll, we'll, we'll try this. We'll, we'll see how much it scales with our uh, attack. And then uh, right now we have Muscle Band, Scope Lens, and Float, which I think is still not a bad build here. I think that if you, uh, another option is certainly going to be Razor Claw, bringing the Razor Claw in. So we've got a bunch of attack there and attack speed, crit hit rate, crit hit damage, more crit hit rate, but you'll see the difference. 12% crit hit or 6% crit hit rate and uh, only 1.1. So this is definitely not as heavy on the crit, but more crit for a, a Pokemon that, that lives off of it is going to be pretty powerful. And uh, plus five attack in addition, the big damage boost on our actual play. So. Now, so we're going to bring with Absol here to test. We're, we're going to test it with first to see how it feels, and then we'll test one without as well. Um, so, again, testing with the new item, and then we're going to test without the new item. In this, it, we're just going to try to see what the damage looks like, and then we're going to go ahead and um, uh, use our X attack as well. I've got a... Do I have any anything to write stuff down with? Let me grab something. Hold on. A mechanical pencil. We're going old school. All right, <laughs> so uh, faint. This is the kind of way we would start a jungle clear here. We'll just kind of do that as if we're we're jungle clearing. Um, boop, boop, boop. We would dodge that. Get in here. There was slash in. Okay, just to get some levels going. All righty. Let's get one more level going, and then we'll go ahead and do our testing. So over here, it feels good. It feels clean. Uh, we're critting a lot, <laughs> but okay. Are you ready? So this is an auto attack with Absol. What do we got there? There's a there's 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 the muscle band right there. You can see the 114. That looks like the muscle band, and then um, the 243 is our normal hit, right? So we're, we're gonna let this reset, and then we're, what we're basically gonna do is um, we'll do it one more time. Ready? It was 243 and one something another. Now we're gonna use an attack. We're we're boosted now, right? And there was three attacks that went out. Okay, okay. All right, hold on now, hold on. Woo! So, 
with one hit that critted. Dang, stop critting! <laughs> what I really need to do here, what I really need this to do is to kind of chill out. Okay, so uh, it looks like um, total damage was 603, right? Now, we're gonna do that. We're gonna wait for this reset. Now we have that advantage. You can see in the bottom right, 727. So about 173 or so more damage with one attack. Um, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. What I want to know though is, are, will, will it scale into here? I didn't see it. First of all, there was a crit there. Um, uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Look at the bottom right hand side of the screen. Um, I'll show you what I mean, right? See, the, see where the buff is right now in the bottom right? That's my Razor Claw. That's about how long it lasts. Now, we're going to go ahead and see, is it there? It is. Okay, so it doesn't get used up in the course of a on-hit sort of action like a slash would be. It's not like, bam, and it gets used up. But, man, is this going to feel really pretty good. All right, uh, we have one more thing we want to test. We want to test to see if it scales up with um, uh, anything else that we do. So, we're going to go ahead and do, uh, here, we'll, we'll hit basic attack. Or X attack, and then we're gonna hit again. Seven six, seven nine six. Yeah. Okay. So it scales with your attack. The extra damage that you're doing. Um, I guess we can't really separate it very easily. Seven six, seven nine six. We'll have to keep that in mind. I'm gonna write that down. Seven nine six. All right. And we'll test it without it, without this, to see if it actually does scale with your attack. But that's that's pretty good right there. That's a lot of damage. Um, the other thing I want to kind of test real quick is to see it, if a night slash, which is kind of like two parts, right? How does this look, right? So Night Slash Part 1, Part 2. Okay, Night Slash, so, so it definitely seems like there's not really, an, it doesn't proc from any of your abilities, right? See, I have it, I still have it. In fact, I got it again. Okay, so that would mean that the best way to go about this would be something like one, auto, one, auto. And that makes sense to me. That is a lot of potential damage right there. Guys, Razor Claw is going to be a big assassin and, and probably any melee. Auto, back in, auto. Yep. That's going to be spicy. That's going to be spicy. All right, let's test some damage without it and see, um, see exactly how it scales. So um, let's do that. Okay, so now we know what we're comparing to. We're basically just going to remove this, right? We're going to get rid of this. Remove it. Have nothing in that slot. We still have the muscle band. We still have the scope lens. Uh, but we don't have that anymore. It was about three extra attack. So we will hit slightly lower just from the, the difference in attack. But how much lower we hit should give us a pretty good indication of uh, about what we're looking at. So the, the extra damage at level four was in the like 117, 120, kind of 130 range. Um, so we should be losing about that much off of our abilities more or less. So let's go ahead and do the same kind of thing. We're just going to level up as fast as we can to four. I mean, I actually can just uh, auto-level myself, which I probably will. We'll just use this to scoop on over. Bloop. And then we'll just go uh, settings. Nope. Sorry. I bet. Practice options. One, two. Which will give us ZR. Oops. And then we'll do one more. All right. Now we have slash and faint. Same level. 14. Or sorry, four. Auto-attack. Okay, just about the same as it was. No surprise there. That was our slash move. Now we hit again. Yeah. Okay, so that's like, that's a big difference in damage. That's 598 is the damage that we do with just a normal auto attack without it. Um, with our sort of, uh, l l let's use a special attack. Ready? So um, it was a special attack and then that. Oh, I critted. Come on! <laughs> Practice, move cooldowns. We need to see what it's like without the crit, right? So we'll take a special attack and then we're gonna hit. I crit again. We'll wait. <laughs> because a crit, so basically what we got before with just with the boosted, the readied boost from Razor Claw plus the X attack was 796 about. So we're gonna hit that again. Auto attack, 645. That's an extra 150 damage basically. Oh, oh, just from that item. And that's, I don't, uh, again, the cooldown has, has, has been a little bit unspecific. Um, I haven't been able to find out and lock down exactly what the what all the cooldowns are, right? But definitely, um, definitely pretty powerful. Here, give me a second of silence. I'm going to skip ahead. I'm going to see if I can't find an answer to that for you.
Okay, I've got some information here from uh, Reddit and um, uh, Softer Paws did some research, and I'm not going to replicate it if I don't have to. Uh, basically, did, they did some uh, quick tests uh, for Razor Claw, and they found that the damage is a separate instant that triggers on basic attacks, similar to Muscle Band and Scope Blunt's passive. We did see that. Uh, seems like there's an internal cooldown of about one second. That's nothing. So, so the testing done by uh, Softer Paws on Reddit uh, seems to say that the cooldown is about a second. That's not much at all. Activations don't stack. You can't have multiple activations. This makes sense. Buff lasts about three seconds. We saw that. Slow is not s significant. Uh, proc does about 100 damage on level 5 Apso with one level 1 Razor Claw without any other held items. Yeah. Okay, so basically, uh, that, that, that's, yes, that's about what I saw as well. That's about what I saw as well. Oh, man. So, this is going to be a lot of damage, guys, right? So, if, if, if we're talking an extra 100 damage with a one-second cooldown on somebody like Absol, somebody like Garchomp that is running moves every two seconds, this is going to be a huge amount of extra damage for any melee uh, builder. I think that this is going to be a critical item for a lot of melees. And so, let's go actually go back and talk about which Pokemon I think are going to benefit the most from this. All right, here we are looking at a list of all Pokemon. Let's start at the beginning, and let's go over who's going to benefit the most from Razor Claw. So Razor Claw is all about uh, basically comboing your attacks with your uh, damage. Uh, some testing will be required to know for sure for a lot of these, but I think that we can find a lot of good information out from this. We know it scales with attack, so Venusaur is probably out. Uh, Charizard, I'd have to test, right? It's possible that Charizard's, if, if all of Charizard's continuous damage from his entire one auto attack is all buffed, that'd be huge. I doubt that, though. So I wouldn't recommend this generally. Uh, I, I wouldn't recommend, I don't think it's going to proc well with Charizard unless it's weird buggy. Uh, Blastoise would probably not get a huge amount of benefit from this, neither would Pikachu. Um, they just don't scale with the right items, uh, the, the right, uh, you'll notice here, by the way, special attack, the, the kind of uh, attack that the Pokemon does is actually now listed here, which is super good. Ninetales wouldn't get much benefit from it, neither would Wigglytuff. Yeah, Machamp probably would. Machamp does a lot of auto-attacking now. That being said, Machamp does more auto-attacking than abilities, so I feel like Machamp wouldn't get as much of a benefit from this as they might a Floatstone for their third, but... Uh, I still think that this has a lot of value for Machamp. It has a lot of potential value. Uh, extra damage is always a pretty good idea for for a Machamp in this case. Um, Slowbro would probably not get much. Blissey would probably not get much either. Um, I could be wrong with the Blissey thing. I think that uh, there's some uh, there's some weird auto attack builds you can run with Blissey uh, because of their ability to use Helping Hand and just mega buff themselves with a the steroid. But uh, I'd have to test that on 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 face value. I wouldn't go with Blissey with Razor. Neither with Mr. Mime. Snorlax, no. No, because Snorlax doesn't use items and uh, doesn't use abilities enough. Snorlax might do better with uh, the uh, weakness, um, uh, new, the new weakness item. Uh, probably wouldn't do very well with Razor Claw. I don't think Crustle would either do particularly well with Razor Claw. Uh, unless, well, we know it doesn't proc on abilities. We tested that. It doesn't proc on abilities, so no. I don't think I'd recommend it for Crustle either. Would absolutely recommend it for Greninja. Um, but. But I think there's other really good options for Greninja as well. I think Zeora would be one that it's super, super good on. There's a lot of abilities to use that you can that you can put an auto attack, weaving an auto attack in between your abilities, basically. Yes, I think Zeora would get a lot of benefit from it. Cinderace, I think we do okay with this. I, it's going to lose some of the slow, and Cinderace doesn't have a lot of abilities that it spams, whereas a, a Zeora would. But I think Cinderace could get some value from it. I don't think I'd recommend Zeora, uh, Cinderace as a S tier for Cinderace. Absol, 100%. Lucario, 100%. Cramorant, no. Uh, Cramorant, special attack, and uh, though it does do a lot of abilities uh, and kind of moving and spamming abilities with auto attacks in between, it doesn't scale with special attack. I wouldn't recommend it. Gengar, no. Uh, Gardevoir, no. Garchomp, 100%. I think this would be recommended here for Garchomp. Garchomp, I think, has a bit of a, a damage uh, uh, fall off in the middle. Uh, this is going to definitely give Garchomp a huge amount of damage potential, I think. And Garchomp is always using abilities, especially while in the ultimate. I like Garchomp with uh, with this Razor Claw big time. And then finally, Talonflame. I think Talonflame would also get a lot of value of it. If you're an assassin, basically if you're a speedster, this is becoming a must almost for you. Um, if you're a, 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 a attacker, um, a melee attacker, or um, uh, are they all arounders? Yeah, melee all around her. I think that you probably get a lot of value from it. He's is he considered melee or ranged? I really don't know if he's considered melee or ranged, but 
anyway, because um, it's a bit of both, I guess. Uh, my point being, I think that uh, basically any of the speedster melees are going to get a lot of value out of this, and I would recommend it for them for sure, 100%. Uh, ex except for Gengar in this case. And I think Lucario, again, would get a lot of value from it. Garchomp, a lot of value from it. Cinderace, okay value. Greninja, okay value. Um, and that's basically it right there. Machamp, pretty decent. Nothing else on this side. So there you go. Uh, if you're an assassin and you want to you wanna one -shot, pe one shot people harder, don't don't one shit people. Uh, one shot people harder. <laughs> then uh, I think Razor Claw is going to be a big one for you. Go ahead, get it if you like those kind of uh, bursty Pokemon, and um, go go try it in some battles. Let me know if you're Zora Main, you need it. Absol Main, you need it. Um, Lucario, you probably need it. Uh, Garchomp, you probably need it. Talonflame, you probably need it. There you go. Boom. What an item. It's gonna be fun. <laughs>